Hit it, hit it, hit it. Wait. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi there. Um, you know, we were the chapter Victoria read out. Mm. She read it out to me the other day. And I just gave a few opinions, but I thought about it. And I thought I'd like to go over it again. Yeah. So you guys have studied and studied and you're full of the word. So I just... Whatever you want to say, mm. if you feel like it. It's Matthew chapter 3. And it's about um, water immersion, water baptism. And as we know, we don't have to prove it because everyone knows that Yahushua never baptised one single person. We have to wonder why. Yeah. Why? Mm. Mm. You know, all his followers did. Mm. Mm. And that was a tradition. Mm. Uh, mikvah, mm. washings. But the most important part there is to repent. Mm. Yeah. But we're going to look at the conversation that went down with Yahushua and, and um, John the Baptist. So we'll start off. And in those days, Yehukanon the Immerser came proclaiming in the desert of Yehuda and saying, Repent, for the reign of Yahuwah has come near. So who would he be speaking of there? Yehusha. Yeah. Oh. For this is who was spoken of by the prophet Yasha Yahu, saying, A voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of Yahuwah, make his paths straight. And Yehukanon had a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist. So if we look at that, prepare the way of... Yahushua. Mm. No, it doesn't say that. No, it says Yahuwah. Mm. Prepare the way of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah had already morphed into Yahushua. Mm. Interesting, isn't mm. it? Mm. A garment of camel's hair and a leather belt round his waist. And his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and all Yehuda and all the area around the Jordan, yeah, went out to him. All those people came out to John the Baptist and they were immersed by him in the Jordan confessing their sins. Mm. So he told them to repent, and this is the action from his repentance. Because mm. <laughs> the kingdom, the reign of Yahuwah, has come near. Mm. So mm. we know he's speaking about Yahushua there yeah. mm. when they say Yahuwah. Yeah. And seeing many of the Prussian and Sadducees Coming to the immerse, to his immersion, he said to them, Brood of adders, who has warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Mm. So who's come along to get immersed by John the Baptist? The Pharisees and the Sadducees. Yeah. The religious people. Mm. So what does that actually mean? And he's just confronts them and see what he says to them after that yeah brood of vipers yeah who has warned you to flee from the coming wrath mm. they knew something was on mm. bear therefore fruits worthy of repentance and do not think to say to yourselves we have abraham as as father for I say to you that 
Ibrahim is able to raise up children of Abraham from these stones. You think he's speaking about the stones on the ground or do you think he's speaking about the people? I think, he's speaking, immersed. I think he's speaking of the people who are being immersed. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah. when we look at these brood of adders, mm. these Pharisees, Sadducees, Prussian, as they say, they're coming in because they believe they're part of Israel. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And they're coming in in a self-righteous way being entitled as part of the people mm. Mm. to get the best of what's happening, mm. this mm. new immersion mm. yeah. of repentance. Mm. Yeah. And they're arrogant about it, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. They're just going yeah. in there and saying, we, we're we part of the people, we can have this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know? yeah. And John the Baptist confronts them mm. and says to them, bear, th bear therefore fruits worthy of repentance. So what's that talking about? The fruits of righteousness. Fruits are what? Behaviour of repentance. Yeah, yeah, so it's a big stipulation to go in the right attitude, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And he's declaring they haven't got that. Mm. It's not the right attitude. No, no, they haven't got the right attitude. No, they're walking in as though they're entitled. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. And the axe, he said, is already laid to the root of the trees. Then he's talk going into trees and he's talking about fruit again. Mm. Every tree then which does uh, not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Mm. So he's already confronted them, told yeah. them about their behaviour. Yeah. And he says the axe is already at the root. You yeah. can't bear the right fruit, you'll go into the fire. Yeah. Mm. It's interesting. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. These are the stipulations to yeah. enter the door, mm. aren't they? Yeah. Of immersion. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. I indeed immerse you in water to repentance, so uh, there's been an argument going down, obviously, mm. because they've been arguing with him that they have the right. Mm. Yes. And he brings this in, I indeed immerse you in water to repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to bear. He shall immerse you in the Ruach Harkadesh, and fire. Mm. Mm. So he knows that he's just doing it in repentance. People have to come and repent and get a, a traditional washing, a mikvah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But there's a, he's saying there's a different immersion. Mm. Is yeah. he not? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. A different Definitely. immersion. Yeah. Mm. Spirit and fire. Mm. That's what Yahusha mm. wow. baptizes, immerses in. Mm. Mm. Not water. Yeah. He yeah. never ever did no. immerse anyone in water, did he? No. 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 So here he is, John the Baptist talking about him, yeah. mm. saying he's going to immerse in spirit and mm. fire. Yeah. Should we take that as Scripture and right, what yes. John the Baptist says. Yes, yep. yeah, definitely. So what if you say, no, you need water immersion? Wasting your time. That's not what John the Baptist said about yeah. Yahushua. What did he say? I indeed baptise you in water for repentance, but one coming after is greater. And he, he has will... a different baptism. Yeah. And he will baptize you in the spirit and fire. So there's no. That's different from water, a, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. So there's a, to, there's a distinct difference there. Mm. Well, if you think about it, water puts fire out. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So therefore, why would he, Yahusha, be baptizing in water? Yeah. He wants us to burn every bit of sin out of us. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it's spirit and fire. Interesting, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Okay. I indeed immerse you in water to repentance, but he is coming after me. Is mightier than I, who sin as I know everywhere. He shall immerse you in spirit and fire. Mm. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he shall thoroughly cleanse his threshing floor. Mm. It's got to be clean, the threshing mm. floor. Mm. And gather his wheat into the storehouse, but the chaff, meaning the Pharisees, yeah. He shall burn with unquenchable fire. So that's he's letting them know mm. they're not fit mm. Mm. for this mm. yeah. because of their behavior, behavior. Yeah. fruits, yeah. and yeah. behavior. Now we have something interesting. Then came, then Yahusha came from Galil to Yahukanon at the Jordan to be immersed by him. Mm. All of a sudden, after all that talk mm. with the Pharisees and mm. explaining the right immersion, mm. bang, there he is. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah, the time. Mm. But Yehuchanan was hindering him, saying, listen, I need to be immersed by you, and you come to me. Mm. <laughs> oh, what's going on? He knew who he was. Mm. But Yahushua answering said to him, allow it now. Mm. That's the water immersion. Mm. So he's allowing it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Mm. Then he allowed him. What does that mean? Everything he fulfilled mm. in the old covenant, the old testament. Yeah. So what's he doing here in this new realm of immersion? Or is it old? He's fulfilling every form of water, immersion, mikvah, ritual cleansing. He's fulfilling mm. it. Every tabernacle, temple, service, cleansing yeah. done in him. So what does that mean? Afterwards? No, in him. He did it. Oh, no, not afterwards, no. Yeah. Yeah. Did anyone get immersed in water after that? They did, but as you said, the... They hadn't transitioned. Yeah, they're still old and new. After after he'd um, died on the the torture stake, Mm -hmm. I don't believe it is written anywhere that anyone was immersed in water. It is in Acts. Is it? It is. Okay. But though acts as a transition, transition yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, they were transitioning, but they hadn't mm. realised mm. that we have to follow him and transition like he did. Mm. He died to himself and he said, you're going to have to die to yourself if you follow me. Yeah. The mm. self is what he wants dead. Yes. Mm. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So we're following mm. him. Yeah. Mm. Right? And they... When they realised that, then they obviously transitioned. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 But this is why part of the reason all the arguments were in the in the assembly. Mm. Yes. Because they uh, were arguing about all these issues, and then it crumbled, didn't it? Mm. Yeah. I mean, we're hearing historians say that they called Yahusha Jesus. And Yahushua and Jesus is only 600 years old, so mm. there's a big gap. There's so much going on, yeah. They're mm. trying to hide and squash mm. everything. He wasn't there. There was no Jesus there. No. There is no Jesus. No. no. It's false. Mm. It was always Yahushua. Mm. And he'd mm. been and done and went with it. Yeah. And now they're calling him Jesus mm. later mm. on. So there's lots of lies going on, mm. lots yep. of different doors to enter. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I found it was interesting where Yusha said, allow mm. it now. 
Yeah, why don't you find that interesting, darling? Because it's saying, allow it now. So that's a time where he got immersed. Mm -hmm. Now, allow it now. Because he was it, full? He was fulfilling the, 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 the old, covenant. old covenant, the law. Mm -hmm. Fulfilling that ritual. And it was going to happen now, but not after that. Mm. So allow it now, but it's not going to continue to me. Mm. Mm. A lot of stipulation to get immersed the right way, mm. yeah. isn't it? Yes. Mm. You've got to bear the fruits of righteousness. Repentance. Repentance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Which to is start with. the right yeah. behaviour. Yeah. 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 yeah, to be sorry, remorseful, to be yeah. Yeah. real. Yeah. yeah. Then he allowed him. The Yahukan on. Um, John the Baptist was hindering him, saying, no, 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 yeah. no. Mm. And he said, I need you to do it to me. He said, no, well, let's just do what's right now to fulfil all righteousness. Mm. Mm. So that means that's the end of water baptism. Yeah. 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 Fulfilled. From the knowledge we have of transitioning. Mm. We're not looking for that baptism. Of course, we re we go to repentance, yep. but we l are looking for the spirit and mm. fire yeah. to mm. be immersed in that. Yep. Yeah? Mm. Absolutely. Then he allowed him. And having been immersed, Yahushua went up immediately from the water and see the Shemaim were opened and he saw the Ruach of Elohim descending like a dove coming upon him. And see a voice out of the Shemaim saying, This is my son, the beloved in who I did delight. So looking at that and having been immersed, Yahushua went up immediately from the water and see the Shemaim were open and he saw who saw. Yahushua. This, this translation has a capital H, so it implies Yahushua. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, John the Baptist see him too? Yep. If it was visual, yeah, he so said, right. behold, the, yeah. Yeah. they would have heard it. it. was John the yeah. Baptist was told, the one you see the dove come down on, yeah. that was his sign. Well, it says a voice, so he would have heard it, Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, they probably all did. Yeah. So can Yahuwah do that while he's in Yahusha? Of course he can. Yes. He can do anything, can't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's bounce. wonderful ventriloquist. Yeah, bounce his voice anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we can see he's delighted with what he's doing, what he's there for. Mm. Mm. So, this is a point of discovery that I don't think anyone's preaching. No. And when we look at all the other immersions we've done ourselves and heard mm. about, Mm. And then you come across this, John the Baptist has said, mm. he immerses, he baptises in spirit and fire. Yeah. yeah. What is that? The day of Pentecost, they saw them. Yes. You know, the flames came down. Mm. And the flame came down and split into all sections mm. and went on the heads of the people there. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, mm. something happens. Yeah. Mm. Something must happen yeah. when this, when you go in this door, when you go into this immersion. Mm. We thought the water immersion was the right thing, but now we find out, no, it's the spirit yeah. and fire we have to attain. Yeah. Yeah. That's the real thing. Yeah. You know? Anyone want to say anything? Well, I think it's interesting that he says, um, this is my son, the beloved, in whom I did delight. Mm. So in other words, 
I've come into him. Mm -hmm. I did delight in him. Now I'm actually in him. That's how I'm looking at it. Looking at it. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, how can people say that Yahushua is not Elohim now? They ain't got the Easy, spirit. they yeah. say it. They ain't got the fire. When you look right. at all the different baptisms, yeah. what do you think now when you see this? Can they see this? No. How plain is it? It's very plain. Is it in his word? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. So who's their word. argument with? Yeah. John. Yeah. John the Baptist. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. who they're arguing with if they say yeah. mm. it's not right. Yeah. And they are already saying it's not right. Yeah. Mm. That's it. And they can't see. No. Mm. No. So Yahush has given us this to put it out there, yeah. hasn't he? It's yes. wonderful understanding. And we have mm. to look at all different ways mm. and mm. You know, conversations you can talk about it to put it out there. Mm. But really, when you think about it, mm. what the hell's going on? Mm. You know? Exactly this. They do not want to know this. They do not want to see it. Mm. They all know from this they've gone in the wrong door. Mm. Yeah. They've gone in the wrong door. Yes. It's mm. not the door. Mm. You have to repent and go through, get the spirit and go through the fire, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the fire symbolise to you? Cleansing. To me, it represents the fire that shot down into the temple, which was from another dimension. So that could never happen until he said so. So you're actually connecting your... As we've said in your heart, you're connecting with another dimension. You're connecting with him, yeah. um, and it's, then it's two way. You get stuff, and he, you know, it's back and forward, back and forward. But yeah. if you're just doing it in the flesh, you're just uh, being immersed into a religion. If it's water, all forms. If you go in the wrong door, yeah, you're going into a religion. And they use water immersion to anywhere from. Jews to Christians to Messianics to Natrim, the, the door of it, water immersion is, to, is like a membership to a group, a movement, a religion, whereas the spirit and the fire, you are being immersed into a person. Well, they're not saying that, are they? No. All the other ones, no. like this one. Yeah. And he's revealing it in yeah. the last days. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Usually when Yahushua said things, how do people around him feel? Oh, they were gnashing their teeth. Well, the, the common folk loved it, but the Pharisees, national. Well, the too. ones that could see loved it. Yeah. yeah. The ones that wouldn't or couldn't. Or hated. Yeah. Hated it. Furious. Yeah. yeah. Reaction. So right. that's not fruits of repentance, is it? No. no. It's not the right behaviour. Not at all. It's not humble. No. Mm -hmm. No, it isn't. So, any more? Yeah, the fire is to um, is to ignite, to, to give you incredible life, to mm -hmm. ignite a, a, a spark in you, to give you the passion to love, to be able to break down the barriers of demonic forces that come to you and mm. come at through people. But that fire of passion to me is, that's another fire. The love, the excitement, the, the, um, yeah, yeah to, for you, who should be able to give you that? I think that's a fire. What does fire yeah. do? Burns, burns up, and cleanses. Burns up all the dirt, all the dross, all the and what, sin. What comes up when you think of what fire does? As to a impurities, an initiate going in, yes, a new believer. What's fire going to do? Reveal to that person? and make it everything obvious. Can reveal the truth, reveal their life, reveal their sin. 
Yeah, yeah it's gonna it's gonna mm. burn the sin from them. Absolutely. That's what it does. Mm. Mm. And the more you dig your heels in, the mm. more it burns. Yeah. So that's what that fire's for. To cleanse you of everything. Why does he want to do that to us? For us to follow him. He wants us to die because that, to everything that we've made ourselves into. Mm. He wants it all gone. Any little bit he wants? None. Why doesn't he want a little bit of us in there from the world? Because his reign is not of this world and no one of this world can get into his reign if they don't cross over. Mm. Or be... Changed. Behave. Behave. That behaviour yeah. of self can't filter, can it? No. no. Can't go in. No. no. So why does he, he, why doesn't he want any little bit of us? But I'm me, mm. Yahusha. You love me, I'm me. Yeah, that doesn't work. It doesn't stay in his presence. It can't be in his presence. It will, it will just, you'd, you'd disperse, you'd die, you'd be... Because we are all born with sin, mm -hmm. and that's what the fire is doing. It's burning all sin away. And if you don't have the fire burning the sin away, then you can't be in the reign of Yahushua. Yeah. What were you going to say? Uh, when you think about the fire that came on their heads, which was the same fire that was on the mountain and in the tabernacle and everything and all the ceremonies they had to go through to attain that, um, if if his blood was powerful enough to cleanse them enough for him to be inside them and his fire on them and not frackle them up, although that's what happens has to happen to the flesh, the flesh has to frackle up. If that's happening, what use Where is water the flesh, and flesh have to frackle up? I think the flesh has to frackle up pretty quickly, yourself. pretty quickly. Isn't the self different to the flesh? Oh, I don't know. I mean, my flesh is, flesh is frackling up now. <laughs> so true. I see what you mean. Well, it's... It'll happen at the yeah, end. Yeah, the self is... Yeah. It's more the self rather than the actual The personality flesh. is an easy yeah. way to yeah. explain it. The corruptness has to go. That's what he burns out of you. The corrupt... He gives behavior. you a new heart, behaviour, the seed, the... Old man, mm. everything. Mm. Yeah. The things they say leaves you under the water is actually what leaves you when he burns it out of you. That's the new heart. That's the process that they say is a water thing. Well, he puts in you mm. a new heart and he writes his laws and statutes on it. Yeah, yeah he does. His word. So you respond and you don't want to sin because no. you've got the word in you. No. Yeah. So he no. puts a new heart in us oh. yep. and a new spirit he puts it's mm. a new heart and a new spirit yeah. yeah so the new spirit must be part of the incorruptible seed, seed. seed yeah eh? seed it's his spirit and our spirit together yeah mm. so yeah. therefore he can come in mm. Mm. where's the fire Where's the fire? If that's all going on, new spirit, new heart, incorruptible seed, it's all planted in us. Where's fire come in? I thought that would have been the process of the fire. But the fire. Well, fire is a process. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. Sit down and light it and set it all up. <laughs> Get it going. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a process. The fire's a process, yeah, but. How do you explain the fire? You can explain the new heart, new body, new spirit. Yeah, he does all that. Oh, the fire is like tied into Hebrews 12. It's the flogging and the chastising. Because you're not going to get the fire and then immediately be 100% perfect, even though you don't want to sin. So the fire is then a process. You get the fire, but it's, it, tra it trains you. It flogs you and it disciplines you. And you yeah. Look what you're finding out mm -hmm. from one little chapter. <clears throat> Somebody new that come in wouldn't have to do what we've had to go through for 20 years. They could get the fire yep. mm. and then would say to them, now that you've got that written in you and the fire and it's cleansing it, you...
so yeah they can the corners can be cut it's a cleansing it's got to keep you've got to clean out all the old mm. habits the worldly habits everything that's against Yahusha. yeah so in this conversation do you feel that there's actually something missing yes oh, do you what is it i don't know i'm just asking yeah. Well, it seems like we're saying it's the cleansing. What else is the fire? That's, that's what I feel. Well, you've been studying for scripture for years. You must all have some, mm. you know, understanding or feeling, or you're happy to stop it here. No, the thing missing is the elation, the, the intoxicating joy no matter whether you're loved, hated, persecuted, abused, despised, no matter what you go through. You feel you're missing intoxication, joy. Yeah, absolutely. What do you mm. think? I mean, no one can take what it. What do you think? Mm. All right, well, that takes us on to part B. Mm. So we can have a break. Mm. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Oh. We'll venture into part B. So you've got mm. part A, mm. now you can get part B. Yeah. Yeah, you know, do we can do it all yeah, before we have dinner. It's only early, isn't it? You can yeah. check the camera. Can I just check the camera? Oh, you best check. Just check. Maybe. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. 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 Hi. Uh, we've just had a break and we've been talking and we've come to a decision that we know that we need to repent, you don't have to get water immersed, baptised, but you need to have the baptism of spirit and fire. Mm. Now the guys have talked and they've come to a decision that the baptism of spirit is when he puts a new heart yeah. and a new spirit in you as well as the... Um, incorruptible seed which has mm. got to be fed and grow yes mm. all right so we went through all that and agreed on that and we've come to the place well what's the fire mm. and they've been explaining what they think the fire is you said therese i believe it's yahusha inside you yahusha inside you mm. yeah. that's the fire And you, darling? Yeah, it's Yahushua's cleansing fire. I feel like he's, it, the point of it is to cleanse you. Burn, to burn. Yeah. Burn what? Burn up the sin, burn up the habits. Habits. Burn up the anything that's there so that we can be in his presence. What's our... Website called? Behaviour. <laughs> to have the right behaviour. Do you think that's part of it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And Marky? Uh, I said it was his power, his presence, Shekinah, the, the light, the just like on the tabernacles and temples, the you could just feel it. It just lifted everybody. It was like a that warmth of his presence, like in the garden and you could feel it just intoxicating. You're just in this connected to heaven. You're connected to another dimension. All of those things, yeah. Okay, that's very good, and that's your interpretation. And if we look at it, here comes the clangor. Mm. Have you received that of which you're talking? No. 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 No, just been talking. That's about interesting, it. isn't it? Mm. No. So the three of us have come to the real door, mm. yeah. the real immersion, the real baptism, mm. and the three of you don't believe you've had that experience you're talking about. No. How does that make you feel? Lacking, like missing out, like I'm sad. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing something. 
Well, what do you think about it? Here we are. Yeah. We've been through all this, all this study, all this devotion to yeah. Yahushua, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I didn't know. And you are stumped at the door. Do you think mm. other people are going to be stumped? Yeah. At yeah. the door? Why what? do you think other people will be stumped with this? Because there's people guiding them to all other doors. Like yes. they've been guiding us through every single door. Yeah. You never find him. You never find him. You're bit. out now, aren't you? Yeah. You're out yeah. of those doors. Yeah. And you're confronted here. Yeah. And the big problem is the fire. Yeah. Mm. Does that seem right? Yeah. So what? what is it? What... What's going on? Well, in the scripture, they laid hands on them and they received the Spirit. Is that part of the imparting of the Spirit and fire? That's an old, that's a same as a bit, that's a that's an Hebrew old priestly tradition. Tradition. Right up. Yeah. That's the dead body. <laughs> right mm. up. Mm. Won't go there. Mm. Okay, well, it, it, use it, your brains, you're not stupid. It's what, believing what is it? going in there and believing that you can yes. receive his spirit. Definitely believe. Trusting. And I've got to figure this it, out so you yeah. know what's, what it is, what you're going into. You're not just having a blab mm. and listening to yourself. You've mm. got to figure out what is this fire? What is it to do with what? What? Why aren't you experiencing it? It's there, written. Why well, aren't you experiencing it? Because I've spent all my life experiencing every form of it as a religious thing, as a what do I do to please people, what do I do to please men. And with this fire, no, nah, he won't. You can't trick him. You can't fool him. He gives he, it. He's the one who gives it. You can't sneak in with him. He, he has You've got to give up everything and, and you've got to show him that you're desperate enough, that you hate yourself enough. Guess what the word is. You desperate? just said it. Desperate? Yeah. So let's look it up. Yeah. The word desperate in yeah. the Strongs. Mm. There's only two sections to it. Yeah. Mm. The three of you say you haven't got it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So this word comes to you. Mm. This is from Yahusha. Yeah. What's it doing to you? Who wants to talk about it first? Yeah. Do you want it read out? Yes. Yeah. Um, to be, it's a primitive root, to be frail, feeble. Melancholy, desperately wicked, incurable, sick, woeful, to desist, to despond, cause to despair, one that is desperate, to be of no hope. Yep. If you don't come to him like that, and you really want him, he'll bring you to that place. No. Think of King David. I think King David was like this. Yeah. We have to be desperate. Mm. Broken. Have no hope. Have nothing else is important. Not it's any it's everything that we want. We don't want anything else. We just want him. So has your repentance been true if you look at it? No. No. Because it's I've repented for all these different habits and different things, but going into this, this is so much deeper than I've ever thought. To, So it wasn't real. No. So what do you think, Therese? Um, reading... Like this, the second part, despair. I've been there. Mm. I've been with the, there's no hope. Yeah. So I, I certainly understand that. Um, 
And I believe that Yahusha actually pulled me out of despair. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So. But when you walk around every day, what are the fruits? Mm. But you wouldn't dare step out and have some attitudes and do some things and say some things because you're scared that you would lose him. Mm -hmm. How did King mm -hmm. David feel? Yeah. Every moment of every day and, and every thought, how yeah. did he feel? Please was don't, he desperate? Please yeah. don't take your spirit from me. Yeah, yeah. how yeah. desperate was he? Mm. Yeah. Are you that during your day? Have a bit. Do you think like this? No, I haven't thought like this. No. No. It's obvious. No. So let's go to Google. Have you finished, Therese? Go to Google and look up scriptures on desperate. See what you come up with that's going to associate with this vein of how desperate David was for Yahusha. Compare yourself and mm. come up and, and look up scriptures that are in that vein. Desperation involves a sense of hopelessness and despair coupled with very uncharacteristic behaviour. Well, if you haven't got the fire, how do you feel? Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Empty. How do you feel about Yahushua for not giving it to you when you've been a goody goody? Yeah, furious. Like a What's the use of that? Embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sense of hopelessness, despair. Well, why would you have a sense of hopelessness and despair in a lifetime? You've got a lifetime. Mm. And he was so desperate for Yahusha all the time. Mm. Didn't want to leave him, didn't want him to go, wanted him there, wanted his counsel, wanted everything. Yeah. Didn't want him to leave him. Mm. Yeah. Are you that desperate? No. Have you been that desperate? No. No. This is from repentance. Yeah. This is true repentance. You've got to display the fruits. Yeah. You've got to want him. Look at some of those questions, read them out, they're mm. good. Find a, something there. A desperate psalm where you spoke today, David was saying, I'm desperate, Elohim, I throw myself upon you, for you alone are my Elohim, my life, my every moment, my destiny. Mm. Oh. It's all in your hands. I, I haven't gone there. I wonder why, Victor. Just bloody hell, I just don't. Haven't felt that desperate. Well, sounds like you are now. That's what he expects from us. Mm. That's true love. That's the truth. That you're wanting him that much. That you want him to feel your day, to be with him. As you said, Therese, you believe it's Yahushua in. Mm. What have you got to do to get that? Show him. Be that desperate for him. Yeah. Show him that, that you love him that much yeah. that it doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. Yeah. You got a scripture or something? <clears throat> um, it says, but, but now, Elohim, what do I look for? My hope is in you. Save me from my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of fools. Hear my prayers, O Yahuwah. Listen to my cry for help. Be not deaf to my weeping. Mm. So he must have been going through some stuff, wasn't he? Mm. Weeping. Desperate. Mm. Because he holds fast to me in love. I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honour him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my deliverance. So what are you actually seeking from Yahushua? 
Deliverance. Deliverance from what? From the death, from the life of... From yourself. Self, yeah. From... But you have to feel what? Desperate. You that you want him. Yeah. You have to show him that you're that desperate that yeah. you want him. That yeah. you will do anything or say anything or hold yeah. back or not give or give or whatever. That you're willing yeah. to be used yeah. by him. Yes. Have you got any more in that vein? Those questions? We look at the questions. I've got one new one. Lamentations. Lamentations. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my being has been deprived of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. Hmm. When I thought my future is lost, as well as my hope from Yahuwah. Yet I call thee, yet I call this to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of Yahuwah's faithful love, we do not perish, for his mercy never ends. Mm. They are new every morning, Great is your faithfulness. I say, Yahuwah is my portion, therefore I will put my hope in him. Mm. Yahuwah is good, and to those who wait for him, to the person who seeks him, it is good to wait quietly for deliverance from Yahuwah. It is a good man, it is good for a man to bear the yoke while he is still young. For Yahuwah will not reject us forever. Even if he cry, even if he causes suffering, he will show compassion according to his abundance, faith, abundant faithful love. He does not enjoy bringing affliction or suffering on mankind. Mm. He does not enjoy it, but he does it. Mm. 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 Anything more from anybody else? Jeremiah 29, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares Yerusha. And I will bring you back from captivity. He will deliver us. And when you're found, something like when you get a stick and you snap it, right. something, something like that happens. You mm. just get snapped inside mm. and you feel like all the tension, everything just goes. Mm. Mm. It just leaves you and you feel so elated and full of joy. Mm. That's the deliverance. Mm. That's what you're going in mm. to get from the yeah. fire. But mm. you've got to come in the way you said. You've got to desperately want it. You've got to yeah. be desperate, yeah. you know. Mm. Now that you're knowing this, now that you understand all this, what do you think? you got to prove yourself. You've got to prove you're willing to go there for, for him, not just can't just. Well, when you get snapped, you're going to know, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to feel so amazing. Yeah. But to get snapped, you have to walk that path that he wants you to walk and yeah. show him. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 So it's up to you to please him, mm. and you will know when it happens. Yeah. Mm. Well, we can't make it happen. No way. He gives way. it. It's yeah. his yeah. feeling. Yeah. So this is the real baptism. Mm. Spirit and fire. Yeah. And you're going into the fire. You've got to die to yourself. Yeah. Show the fruits of right behaviour mm. from yeah. scripture. Yeah. Live it. Nothing else is more important than 
Mm. That yeah. nothing else was more important to David. He was a king and had everything, could do yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah. But nothing pleased him mm. until he got yeah. what he wanted from him. Got the snap. Mm. 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 That's true, isn't it? Yeah, no one can mm. know, but you will know, you yeah. experience, and you just feel so yeah. amazing. So why aren't you three being given it? Haven't been desperate, haven't been real in wanting it more than myself. Yeah. And that's, I feel disgusted. Well, you're wrinkling up, you're going to die yeah. soon. You better hurry up and make up your mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Been too in love with myself and my way and my plans. And well, I don't want to hear about it all. I just want mm. you to figure this out yourself. Yeah. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing that you're going for. Yeah. Go for it. I suggest go for it. Yeah. So you experience that snap. Mm. You know, and you will know. Mm. Yeah. And then, you know. Hebrews 12 comes in, yeah, yeah. and if you're going along and you feel, oh, you don't want to lose what you've got, mm. yeah. it is so precious what you're missing out on, yeah. Yeah. and you won't, you'll do anything not to lose it once you get it, mm. but you haven't had that experience yet. No. And this is what every single person that comes to the true door yeah. has to understand about repentance mm. yeah. and the fire. I've never yeah. heard this before. No, mm. it hasn't been out. No. It's just... But I've known it for years, haven't I? Yes. Mm. Mm. I've told you all. Yeah. Over and over and over and over again. Yeah. But, mm. no. Just goes, whoosh. Yeah. yeah. I desperately want you all to get it. Yeah. Mm. It's up to you. Yeah. yeah. And the heaviness you feel on you now isn't going to go until yeah. you do something about it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that unfair? No. no. Well, that's his fault. You know where you've got to come to with yeah. him yeah. through his word. Mm -hmm. yeah. and brothers and sisters, this is the real door. This yeah. is what it's really all about. Yeah. You can see how the guys are feeling. They've yeah. been believers for years. Mm. But they didn't know about this. Mm. So if they haven't experienced it, they haven't got it. Yeah. No. So do they have his spirit and fire? No. 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 So that's where they're going now. They want to go and seek that. And I encourage you and them to go yeah. for it. Mm. This is the truth. Yeah. Yahushua wants it a certain way, not our way. Mm. So we love you and thanks for being with us. Thank you. Bye. Bye.